This is a 1951 Ford F1 short bed pickup truck. It's an all original matching numbers, 226 six cylinder. We're gonna take it for a spin and the truck actually uh, has a touch of chatter letting out that first, uh, letting out that first uh, clutch just right at the very beginning on first gear. The truck uh, just drives great. I'm uh, shifting a little quick here and being a little rough on it maybe, but uh, man, the truck just drives fantastic. This is really like a survivor style uh, truck. Uh, I do think maybe it had a restoration 25 years ago or so, but it's a really, really good truck. Uh, one thing too, just, you know, a little bit of the play in the steering wheel for the old truck. You can see the line down the center of the road and. I like to put my finger up here when I show a video so you can see, you know, I'm moving my hand just a little bit to, to keep it between the lines and that's pretty typical for an old truck. So this, this one's not wandering from ditch to ditch or anything crazy like that. It's just uh, dri driving, like I would say, like a normal farm truck. Um, this is an uncut frame. Um, original six cylinder truck. The engine just runs fantastic. And the clutch actually feels really good. I just think that uh, maybe um, it just hasn't been run in a while and it just needs to be driven. Sometimes they get a little chatter until you drive them a bit. Smooth it out. Tailpipe there, nice and quiet. Pop the hood here and let you hear the engine run. You can just hear when I walk around. I'm actually lifting that with one hand. A couple of other features real quick. The horn is super loud. It scared the heck out of my girls with it. I mean, the loudest horn I think I've ever had on a truck. I'm gonna turn this off real quick. I'm not sure if it'll work without the key. Yep, it will. So the heater button there, the heater works good. And uh, we'll come back to the interior here in just a second. Just wanted to show those, those two things. Golly, that horn's loud. So just really nice and clean under the hood. Uh, nice rust-free firewall. All of the underneath of the, of the hood is completely rust-free. This is pretty, this is, well, I call this a survivor just because I really feel like Somebody must have been keeping this, uh, at least when it was old, when it was original or new, somebody must have been keeping this indoors a lot. You can tell, it's, you know, I'll show the patina on the paint now that it's been outside some because this paint job has faded, but um, has been switched over to an alternator. Um, and it's just got a, you know, single pole alternator, which works great. Um, runs great. 12 volt system now. The lights all work. Um, I don't believe it has turn signals. They didn't come with turn signals unless they were dealer installed or someone did them when they did the restoration that there would not be turn signals so normally a dealer back in the day they had a little box here and the dealer would have installed turn signals um, on it afterwards as a dealer option so the cool thing is you can still buy those from lmctrucking.com they're not very expensive and they're very easy to wire up and you can use the indicator lights as turn signals. The other good thing is, is that in most of the 50 states in the US, don't, don't require turn signals on this age truck because it's in an original condition. So, I just, uh, I love what I do. I love my job and, and this is one of the reasons why. I just, I love trucks like this. It just, it has such a nostalgic feel to it. And um, I think obviously somebody painted this truck maybe 15, 20 years ago and then you know the clear coat's just pe peeling on it. So the nice thing is I don't see any bubbles on it and I see very, very minimal imperfections in the body itself. This would be, a, if you're looking for a truck to fully restore um, and to fully original to finish off, I mean honestly it doesn't need to be fully restored but if you're looking for something to finish off this is this would be a great excellent candidate for that as we get up right on top on the body i mean there's typical just stuff you know little stuff from the from the uh from it being a driver you know road trash or whatever you want to call that but the body itself is very straight the hood very very straight 
and actually I caught a couple of little dimples so I want to show really and truly these are the only imperfections I'm finding on the front of the truck tiny little dimple here and two tiny little dimples here maybe when they were putting the maybe when they were putting the bolts back on you know on the on the on the bumper they might have hit that with a wrench or something I mean it doesn't you know just a couple of little dimples there other than that the whole truck looks awesome the doors are straight zero rust on the doors cab corners look new um, I need to double check. We'll go underneath it in a minute. I think those are the original cab corners. I think that was something that impressed me about this truck. That, that this is all original steel. So there's a little crack here in the paint. And now you're seeing a little surface rust right there. So that's something that might want to be addressed. Sand that down just a touch. And it's really going to depend on what you want to do with the truck. The tailgate looks awesome. And so does the back of the bed probably were replaced at some point because they just look too brand new compared to the rest of the bed where you can see a little bit of you know waviness there that would be typical because the truck would have been used to haul lumber or whatever and it would have gotten some dents now it's got a new back of the bed back there and a brand new tailgate it's flawless fenders are flawless again excellent condition cab all this side excellent condition door awesome Fenders, awesome. I mean, unbelievable. So the obvious, the obvious imperfection on the truck is the paint is faded, and the and the and the clear is cracking. The cool thing is, is right now this look is really in. People are just really, really clamoring after the trucks with patina, and so honestly, I thought about scuffing the truck down some more. Maybe even taking the clear coat off of it and giving it more of a flat look. I actually almost like where the paint has peeled off better than I do the gloss but obviously that's because it's not one or the other it's kind of a combination of both so there you go you got the patina if you like it like this you could sand it down do a color match on it be a very inexpensive paint job it doesn't need any body work and you could have a fa fabulous looking you know show and go kind of truck or you maybe buff it down and 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 dull it out the grill's in great shape chrome's in good shape on the front interior the doors are uncut hinge hinges are in great shape zero rust uncut dashboard unmolested and actually as many as these trucks as i had i gotta tell you i haven't had any with the radio in them i think this is the first one i've ever had with a radio in it of course it doesn't work they can be rebuilt but they're am and there's not really anything to listen on am radio so i just like the nostalgia of it i wouldn't take it out i'd if you need a radio put it put a new one in the glove box and you can have an iphone you know bluetooth style radio nice looking headliner sun visor looks new Head, headliner goes all the way back like it's supposed to looks really nice i love the little toolbox that's in the back Either the tank is new or it was the original pulled and sprayed and redone. They even took the time to upholster the back when they redid the seat, which looks really nice. The seat is nice, no rips or tears, and just looks really good. It does have the embroidered Ford emblem there. Underneath the floor pans, you've got the sound deadening material. And then underneath that, it's a little bit hard to get under there because it's a uh, you know there's a looks like there's a, is a little bit of a patch panel there we'll look at underneath the truck in just a minute we we'll see that nice original style floor mat it could be the original one or it could probably maybe was replaced a while back but it looks really great the step sides on the truck from the top are rust free and as we go underneath the truck this was one of the things that really impressed me actually i'm going to show on the outside here this is your original i believe those are the original cab corners Tiny little rust hole there, but other than that, original cab corners, they don't look like they've been replaced. That really impressed me. And at the bottom of the doors here too, completely rust free. Step sides, excellent condition. Maybe replaced, maybe not original, but anyways, excellent condition. That's what we're looking for, rust free floor pan. I love seeing the wood bed from underneath too. It's just kind of cool. At some point the muffler was replaced and the rear the exhaust was taken all the way back. So just want to point out though just how clean it is underneath here. And I mean I think aside from a couple of tiny little spots, I would basically call this a rust-free truck. Real quick, show you the inner fender wells. 
You're gonna see a little surface rust and stuff there, but nothing major, that's all superficial. This is one of the more solid trucks I've had in a while, but I am picky. If you watch my videos or if you follow Peachtree Classic Cars, you'll know I'm picky about picking up rust-free trucks when they're like this. I mean, obviously there's rat rods and we don't mind the rust on those. So it looks like maybe a little patch was done there. I can't tell what that is. Yeah, that's actually a piece of steel. That's not fiberglass. Same thing, matching to the other side. Got a couple cobwebs there, but just nice and clean. There's your, fender, uh, there's your cab corner in excellent condition again. There's your floor pan, bottoms of the doors. I mean, man, somebody took excellent care of this truck. I may need to raise the price a little bit. Golly, this truck is clean. Sorry, I'm running a little long. I always tell guys, you know, 90%, 95% of my clients, I never meet them face to face. Where, you know, it's these videos that people are depending upon and our honesty and integrity to say, hey, this is really what the truck is like. And so we do a video, 10, at least a 10 minute video inspection on every single vehicle we have. Just real quick, there are a couple of little imperfections on the, on the you know, hubcap, but it does have the original style hubcaps with the beauty rings, which I love. Um, tires look to be newer, um, no weather rot that I can see, and really good tread. So I don't think it's gonna need new tires. Well, there you have it. I know I talk a lot, but trying to do a video inspection i laugh sometimes i watch some other guys videos they don't talk at all and i think gosh explain some stuff so maybe i talk a little too much sometimes but i almost rather over communicate than under communicate this is a great truck uh other things i forgot to mention the glass is in great shape windows roll up and down really good a lot of the weather stripping looks like it's been replaced window weather stripping on the windshield looks like it's been replaced window actually was a little foggy on the drive and uh, i think it just needs to be cleaned i'm looking at it again and realizing uh, we didn't do a great job cleaning the window before we got uh, on did this video again here weather stripping is new so it looks like they'd replace the weather stripping the only thing it might be missing is the inner felt um, man what a great truck I love my job I love these trucks I love American history and uh, this is gonna make somebody a really fantastic truck. A couple of little things, I always tell people you're gonna, if you buy the truck, you're gonna find something I didn't explain in the video, it just the way it works out, but I really try my best to use the golden rule and uh, treat people like I wanna be treated in these videos, show everything I can. I think somebody's gonna be very, very happy with their investment in this truck.